Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues in which I'm your host Mr. Mocha Lover in episode 6 of us playing as the United States of America. The Guardians are not at war with us but vengeance for Navarro. The Brother is clearly guilty of a range of crimes including destruction of federal property, theft of federal property and attacks on members of the United States government. But a trial for the Brotherhood could be messy as some Americans will point out their service raiders and super mutants, and they may try to slander us with false statements about our research at Navarro further. Given that the Brotherhood is descended from pre-war military and we never actually did make an effort to cooperate, maybe there are some alternative solutions or we could just do a show trial. Voting railways in the Mojave will make them wish for a nuclear winner. Pardon all those who volunteer for the United States Army. Well, oh why not. Paladin's Tale from New Reno. One of the outposts around New Reno was just met by a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, a Paladin by the name of Keats. Says he was commanding a brother at outpost out in Utah and has had experience fighting the 80s ghouls and worked alongside some contract killer looking for a mercenary headed through Zion. His mission ended when he was sent out west to New Reno by the Midwestern Brotherhood of Steel. Please move along. Sent back to the Midwest. Special thanks to Cell Block, Psycho, and the New Reno team. Go check out their mod tales of the New Reno for Paul oh, in Vegas. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of an identity crisis. The Supreme Court Injustice. Mr. President, archive historians have found records which prove conclusively that our ghoul Supreme Court Justice saw ghoul men was not a Supreme Court Justice. In fact, it was a New Mexico defense lawyer serving time in Colorado on corruption charges. <laughs> Something we should get rid of him, but we have to admit he's actually done a decent job defending the rights of the common man in, in court. Guess we shouldn't give a work job to everyone who walks in the door. Eh, yeah, still better than the guy from Vault City. Uh, Slanter Service? We just received a proposal from our liaison from the boroughs. The boroughs appear to have been gripped by a patriotic fervor in the places openly display new their newfound love of country. Many of the younger generation, however, has been gripped a bit stronger and has sent forward a petition to be allowed to serve in the United States Armed, Force, Armed Force Services and Forces. The proposal for this, of course, was expected to be stopped at lower levels, but several officers are noting that they can make excellent scouts, able to scurry far ahead of our advance and remain undetected by enemy forces. We wouldn't think twice of the small furry mammals watching them from a distance, of course. Opening the doors of non-human mutants is a can of worms, many more traditional thinkers, both in and out of uniform, fine to be in poor taste. Guess this has an advantage. I'm building an army, not a zoo. So enter scout text. What the heck is this? Robco, of course. Um, or is it over here? APA. Oh, what you need? Next level, fifty-two. Oh, I don't see it. But we're doing pretty well against uh, Guardians Brotherhood. It's only right that we destroy them too. You know, he's an isolationist. Whatever. Uh, we're doing very well against him, though. Sorry, sending you guys too, because why not? Any extra plans? Unfortunately, not. Are we doing okay here? Uh, about two hundred. Units worth of damage, it's not bad overall. Sure, free fighters, we'll gladly accept you. Guess not, okay then. See you later. That is a mistake. Forcing defense here, huh? It's a pretty freaking huge mistake. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Hey, nice. Yeah, we just have no PP. It really sucks. Because they went to war with us, we didn't go to war with them, they went to war with us, so. Right, so we gotta reset this up pretty much. Oh. Well. Can't care huh? No, oh, further restore Air, uh, Creature Air Force Base, right home near Nevada. Creature Air Force Base serves as the air defense of the larger Nevada test site as well as training for the uh, Air Force. But actually. I do want a pair drop still. Uh, tomorrow's victors. Well, the NCR and Brotherhood failed. America will succeed. We are not a facsimile of America. We are America. The end of TV Town. Our trips are sifting through the wreckage of what would become known as TV Town. The strange simulation of the idyllic pre war town stuck in what appeared to be a t loop of a TV show, maybe? Weird. Uh, there are a few escape attempts over the last centuries, but the town's director, Zach's computer, the town's core, maintain order, mysteriously. We have no idea who did this. Um, there are no corporate markings, no vault tech proper, not even anything from the pre-war U.S. Army. Whatever, whoever did this, it completely outside the scope of our knowledge. Many of the androids, as we realize they were, are being scrapped for parts, but their circuits are too fragile and weak for us to reverse engineer them at this time. How do they end up here? What remains of TV Town? Picking through the reins of what was TV Town, it's clear uh, whatever or whoever set this place up had technology well in advance of our own. It was a pre-war thing or a post-war thing, we don't really know, however. Some of our researchers think that something might come of this, given the raw power of those androids we faced. Other more pragmatic members of the government, however, are keen to see the area turned over uh, for settlement and have given over production. <clears throat> Given the advanced technology in the hidden city, would be greatly benefiting our cause. 
Prepare the settlement. Alright, set up a research sta station. Well, I like the research station. Let's go to the settlement for now. Find the EPA, which I don't want to lose any more consumer goods for now. Uh, I'm still going to go through all this stuff, too. Uh, let's we will have to fight the Legion. I promise you that. Fortress Sierra. Well, 200 years ago, we and the commies unleashed nuclear hell upon the Earth. Let's hope we never have to do it again. Together for victory, regardless of whether they join us or not. <clears throat> the industrial might of the NCR and the steel discipline of the Brotherhood has been marshaled behind us, coupled with the massive numbers of California and Nevada. We now can assemble the largest army in the continent. We are not the NCR, we're not the Brother, we're not even the Enclave of Old. We're the United States, and this is our country, and we're taking it back. For Americans off walks of life, look across Colorado, the bands of raiders, the would be Romans, techno nats, and the Cajun hostile tribe that threatens their great nation, at their backs is the stars and stripes, flying proudly over the land once more. All know that they're faux cowards and hovels and shacks and the thousands of Americans yearn for freedom. God bless the Enclave. No, God bless America. I think more attack and recruitable population factor. Nice. Only 200,000. Good. Nice. So this, doing this one was, it was a waste of political power. A complete waste of political power then. This does open up another front against these guys too. They want to attack us, I guess. Oh, wait. Do you have... Oh, you two... Ah, oh, these guys. Are they going to take us again? We've lost three versus 500, which is not bad, but still, could be better. Nuclear Defense Operations Command. Pre war, which has become known as the Divide, home to the Ballistic Defense Division Southwest Operations Command of the Commonwealth Ballistic Administration. A mouthful there ever was one, suffice to say. We aren't expected to be nuked anytime soon unless it's ourselves. Instead, the base had the locations of several of our nuclear silos dotted across the United States, several of which were automated to build more nuclear missiles. We cannot begin to stress the danger of oh, these weapons falling into enemy hands. Well, we can answer the nuclear question later. We need to make it a priority to collect and recover nuclear weapons across the continent before it's too late. But to do that, we need a base of operations. Uh, and that base is the Old Ballistics Defense Division Operations Center in Hopeville. Since we returned to the base, we've been hard at work to get it ready to resume operations once more. However, resources. We're starting to run short of the time. Oh, crap. Time being due to the other construction projects, and for now, we have only the resources to complete the project. Uh, getting, uh, get, focus on getting Hopeville online. Ashen Air Force Base. Oh, crap. Ashen Air Force Base was the Air Force component of the component of the Commonwealth Ballistic Defense Complex tasked with providing targeting and launch data for the missiles on the base, as well as maintaining the base in what is technically an unstable region. The base remains in better shape than the Army side, largely due to the more technical side of the Air Force operations having greater security, thankfully. No one managed to activate the launch sequence, and that might have caused some problems. We don't exactly know what our predecessors were thinking when they built a missile base near the San Andreas Fault, however. Records show that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers installed a series of seismic sensors around the base. If they tripped, then the base would lock down and ensure that no missiles were damaged, apparently. As backfires, the sensors couldn't differentiate between the nukes hitting California and Nevada, an earthquake. Thus, the best way into lockdown and never launched a deadly payload. We're sure China was very thankful. Regardless, the nuclear bombs had ironically enough stabilized the region. Though that doesn't mean we won't be restoring the seismic monitors just in case. So, curiously, we notice that there seems to be some residual seismic activity coming from below. It might just be old systems. We'll keep you informed. Good to see it back in order. Helpful missile base. The Army component of the Ashton Hopeville complex. The Army maintained the missiles as well as provided for the general defense and utilities of the base itself. Nice. Um, after that, think I'm going to reload the save anyways. Power armor integration. Although we've already relied on power armor, one of our officers wants to take us to the next step. Captain Wilson Freeman has published a treatise called for a lightning war where power armor flanks enemy positions. Cut off their lines of retreat and capture the survivors. It might just work. I read one too. If you want to buy infantry school, please go ahead. Discipline soldiers as well, as well as rank and file infantry. Powered armor will always be the key to the enclave, but resources are better spent on arming as many men as possible. How do you plan to maintain divisions of power armor in a nuclear wasteland and then the new American army? Look at them march past. We're no longer a few bands hiding in the power armor. We are the American Army and we're back. Uh, drill sergeants. Dedicated and resilient NCOs will form the backbone of America's training and ensure that no private is ever, ever caught without their power armor. Automated training. Talk to any veteran, they'll tell you basically and prepare them for anything beside march and pretty. Some tasks can be easily automated, as shown by pre war Camp McClinic in West Virginia, allowing for trips to get the units faster and get real training they need to. Military academies. 
Pre-war, our officers went through some of the finest schools in the world to lead our armies. While many are on the East Coast, nothing is stopping us from what we have to establish new academies on the West Coast. Virtual reality change, huh? Claim the skies. The vertebrates once flew in challenge across the skies, but times have changed since 2241. We get to fly as the blessed wasteland, and the Air Force will have to work to retain our mastery over the heavens. And military propaganda. While the rockets were glare, the nukes bursting in air gave proof. Through the night, the, the flag, of course, was still there. AFN News. End of Legion Classis. The once vaunted Legion Classis has all but sunk and destroyed by the United States Navy, with the bulk of its ships sinking to the bottom of the Colorado and Baja of California. The once mighty fleets of the Legion are but shadows of their former selves, with many of Khazar's Legion top admirals and naval officers being executed for their failings, often being fed to glowing sharks or more other monsters of the deep. While well, challenges still come from the Legion allies, the United States Navy remains the undisputed champion of the waves, fitting its legacy as the most powerful nation that sails on the waves. Next time, send modern warships. And actually, we're still training some ships, so let's stop doing that, shall we? Go home and repair. Area 51. With Area 51 under our control, the Enclave scientists are sifting through reams of pre war data. It appears that the pre war United States was monitored by vast intellects, cool and unsympathetic, and their technology was studied by the military. We can pick up the research, but there may be some consequences. Let us press every button we can find. Ooh. Kaiser's atrocities. Kaiser's a nasty son of a gun, and as we push east, his men have responded with increasing guerrilla attacks on our supply lines and atrocities to demoralize our men. I recently left someone, uh, uh, somehow crucified 13 a men on Hoover Dam, declaring they left their bodies facing west to watch or will die. What's wrong with them? The real atrocities of Kaiser are speeches. Available because they're charismatic. FEV fizzles, as Dr. Gannon's urging. The United States uh, pursued a costly vaccination program. This paid off when the Legion tried to use FEV against us, promising to bring the ghosts of the past to their knees with no effect. It's good to know we can add attempted genocide to the charges against Kaiser of the War Crimes Tribunal. Maybe Kaiser should invest in some modern medicine. Absolutely. And as you can see, we are fighting the Legion here, and we are doing our best. They're actually beating us up relatively decently along the Colorado here, which is not ideal. Um, but we're going to call in these extra Enclave uh, power armor divisions that we have here, help hold the line, hopefully, and not screw everything up for us, because that would be very bad. And once we have our guys on the line, we should be decent, we should be okay. Um, with the power armor here, trying to intercept them right here. I don't know if we really can, though. Um... Yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah. uh, wait, what? Bruh. Well, that's certainly not good for us. Hmm. Because the 80s, they have a lot of divisions and we really don't. So it looks like I'm going to go back and uh, figure out how we're really going to do this. Because that's 42 divisions. These guys have hundreds of divisions. Um, and a lot of this, I mean, we can just deal with. As long as we get a nice little border. But with those guys coming in as well, it seems like I'm going to do some funky stuff here. Some real funky stuff. Stuff, stuff I don't really want to do. Because mm. I know... Uh, yeah, looks like I'm, I'm going to do some funky stuff then. Um, four divisions. New Reno. Of course, I mean, we've got quite a few comments from the last video too. To address... Could we plop you guys out early? And start forcing our way through here quickly enough so that it would not be a problem. That's not a lot of divisions for us. They have quite a few divisions. Uh, it's probably going to be a crapshoot. But we're doing the new American Army as well. Uh, in the meantime though, of course Fortress Sierra. Um, Sierra Army Depot has become so much more than what it was. It's a veritable fortress on par with the Citadel of Navarro. Unlike Navarro though, its purpose is bound defended against all threats. Our McHenry of the West are Fort Sierra. Military propaganda, I read this earlier. Uh, war machines, of course. Well, I don't really need this one, but automated warfare keeps the troops safe and the enemy on the run from the unrelenting assault of robotic soldiers. Being an assault tron sentry by our robot, our robotic troopers won't stop until the enemy is, of course, defeated. Home defense. Enclave command is tired of endless messages about another settlement under attack. Instead of relying on disorganized militias, let's revive military reserves to fight at a moment's notice. Civil Defense Administration. Civilian Air Force. Or Civil Air Patrol, I should say. Defense against major countries. The American Minutemen. In the past, settlements were expected to have a militia ready to defend themselves in the minutes. It were these Minutemen that gave rise to the United States. We shall reintroduce this concept and encourage each of our settlements to arrive or defend themselves at least until the army arrives. Minutemen patrols. A proactive defense is well ready defense. During wartime, Minutemen will be called to patrol the interior for spies, raiders, or saboteurs. Uh, let's go with. We did this one too. We own the skies. Uh, flight school. Opening the doors to America's newest flight school will drive recruitment. Who doesn't want to fly? 
military air transports. As our army grows large, we cannot rely simply on a few ad hoc vertebrates to sustain our long range units. We should begin the steps of creating a central command to tackle this daunting task. Military Airlift Command. It was a military airlift command that saw us through the Second Berlin Crisis of 1971 and sustained our troops in North Vietnam when China began its blockade in 1978. Now, now Mac will sustain our armies in the remote areas of North America no matter the cost. Air Mobility Command. Much of America's pre war infrastructure is damaged beyond our meter repair, however. The Air Force has experience in delivering supplies far out places by air. We should consolidate that under a single command rather than ad hoc actions. Department of Manufacturing. Creating a, by creating a department devoted solely to industrial growth, we can revive the American economy. Every man a car. In pre war America, every American dreamed of owning a car. Today, about 1 in 200 people in California do, and the rest of the nation is worse off. We can revive the American auto industry and promise some sort of people's car because life, as they say, is a highway and the enclave will ride it all night long. Department of Energy. Pre-war America sent energy from Hoover Dam to California, from the Tennessee Valley to Chicago. So can we. Lighting up the night. We need to do more to live off the scraps of the, uh, than live off of the scraps of the Great War. We can rebuild centers of high technology to train the next generation, generation of scientists, so let's do so, shall we? A new America. It was a long and hard road, but we've done it. The crimes of the Enclave have been submitted in history, never to be forgotten. President Richardson and his predecessors who started the FEB research are now on par with Hitler and Stalin as history's worst humans. War criminals, no matter how or low, have been brought to justice. Families of victims have been compensated for their deaths. Our government now has checks and balances to prevent the emergence of another President Richardson. However, all this begs the question, are we truly, truly still the Enclave? No, for we are quite, something quite greater now. Every school across the country, children learn about the sort of past of the Enclave, and also about the pre-war United States to ensure that such atrocities never happen again. Scientists now have to go through ethic reviews for their experiments, congresses, passes, legislation holding corporations and other entities to a standard of ethical conduct in order to prevent another Volta. In many towns and cities, Memorials are unveiled dedicated to those who are victims of the Enclave's reign of terror. Despite the nuclear blast of the landscape, America as a whole has never looked this healthy. We learned from the past, with more political power, 50% more stability, thank God, and more legitimacy. So we're actually looking decent, more political power, compliance, growth, mobilization, speed, and we now have 88% well, right now, um, stability, which is pretty good overall. Some common clues. When Ulysses chooses his side, you know the side's worth fighting for and the truth shall set us free. Someone says, I recommend getting Canada and Mexico on your side. It adds interesting decisions. Someone said uh, from the last episode, uh, the Supermans only resisted us and didn't support us because we didn't give them citizenship in time. Perhaps we're allowed to maximize the amount of legitimacy you can get after a tank it. The event uh, was supposed to be like the one with the ghouls, where they give you additional legitimacy. Um, someone says, I love that you continue in the series. Thank you. Someone says, it would be fun to see a Tiano world conquest as the Japanese. Hmm. Someone says, uh, God bless Enclave. God bless America. Love this play. Through the Enclave is one of my favorite factions of all fallen old world blues. Hope to see you fight against Legion before this run ends, so I'd love to see a great overall blues war to close out the series. Someone says, try to get more cores through the power grid mechanic. Absolutely. Uh, and someone says, you are on my recommended, and you're a pretty cool channel, and you're talking really fast with your love, and your videos are cool. Thank you very much. Although thousands of cars are still being in use, in use some 200 years after the Great War, few have any been built. That changes with the decision to build a factory outside Reno to build the Chrysler Highwaymen. The highwaymen, rugged enough to drive off-road throughout the way, is powered by whatever fuel cells are lying around, and represents America's can-do spirit. Economists estimate that within 20 years, one out of every 40 Americans will own a car. Eat, play, Johnny Cash. Nice. Oh, we can't do this one yet. We need them. Um, Commonwealth Project, which we read before. Um, if you do this one, please go ahead. Commonwealth Project. Let's see what we can do about that. As we are slowly trying to strike out, our air superiority is not very good. It's actually really bad. And we're just trying to core more stuff. Core as much as we pretty much literally can. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to take some time. We're still trying to strike out a little bit here. Still trying to push out a little bit. It's going to take quite a bit of time to get all the way out there. Um, keep going. Convoy raiding. Do this too. Auto injectors are nice. Grenade launchers are nice. They're attacking us here. Elko Posse wants to destroy us still, which I really hate with burning passion, but whatever. The 80s are gone, which is nice. Um, yeah, just do this real quick. Just pop them out. They won't be great, but whatever. Give them Ulysses for now. I don't know where they're going to attack. Just do this. It's fine for now. Yeah, we are attacking. We're getting attacked. You know, all the good stuff. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. What? Quite the bloodbath. And you guys go right here and do this. There you go. Because I want them to continue to attack us because we, while we did destroy... Oh, come on. I hate. I hate this so much. I hate. Hate with a passion. 
Who's board comp a crap? That's so stupid. That is so stupid. So they're just going to continually attack us. But the Commonwealth Project. The President today announced a joint session to Congress that the old Commonwealth system is to be reintroduced and reintegrated into American society, followed by rapid assurance that no one in Congress was losing their job. The new Commonwealth systems will be based and built upon the pre-war system, uh, with some minor changes to territory as well as pragmatic adjustment to fit the pre-war times. Uh, however, this will change nothing with the enclave branch aside uh, wearing in the governors, swearing in the governors of uh, aforementioned Commonwealths. We're building America one Commonwealth at a time. We get Candace no matter what Bethesda says. Cool, we'll see what happens then. Let's do what over here. Let him continue just to grind up against us here. And you guys are doing what? You guys are just kind of hanging out. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. Let this guy's going there. What are we missing here? It's fine, go and do that. We've lost about 6,000. We've killed off quite a few of them. So. Turn to the Minutemen. The army cannot be everywhere at once, nor is law enforcement able to handle every raider, marauder, ravager monster before our arrival and many places of the wasteland still. Settlements would pool together for their resources uh, for the defense of the community. This, of course, has its history rooted in the very same Minutemen that defended our rights and liberty from the British during the Revolution 500 years ago. We shall encourage our communities to take up arms as Minutemen and provide them with a simple basic kit to assist in the defense of homeland steads and settlements. You think you got... You think they got any of this out east? Huh. That's cool. So, all right with us. Also, I didn't show you, but the Navy's actually done extremely well here. It's level 5. He's done very, 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 very well. He's very good. Nice. Spread him around. Ooh, we have no war sport now. Look at that. Brown enemy bombings, which is not good. Yeah, put that, throw that over there. We're going to start the movie industry. The American movie industry has been dead for a long time, so there are plenty of drive-in theaters that will be not too difficult to repair. Uh, further, store naval base Ventura. The diverse base in the north of what was Los Angeles. The base serves as a strategic supply base for naval forces moving towards China, yet curiously wasn't targeted during the Great War. Pioneer Scouts. While many wastelanders know how to survive in the harsh landscape of post-war America, those lessons are not always taught. Compiling these lessons and teaching them to our children go a long way in ensuring that America's Americans of the future could survive any test and master any environment, of course. TV Town? Hidden in Metropolis. Stories from the caravanners and records from the followers solve a strange hidden settlement deep in the Nevada desert. A strange idyllic town popular by cheerful and upbeat citizens who seem oblivious to the world around them. While the reports say the hourly uh, appear friendly, they've been the death of at least two caravan expeditions that are capable of ripping arms right off a person. The followers' records state that they have made contact with them but kept at far distance due to the vastly superior technology. While a normally perfect town in the wasteland is always a concern, a city with superior technology to ours we cannot allow. No, sir. Santa Expedition. Oh, well, we already kind of got rid of them, but okay. Pioneer Scouts were born. The pre war, those Pioneer Scouts were organized around the principles of survival, teamwork, research, discovery, and innovation. They reflected the spirit of exploration during the founding and expansion of the United States. Today, our things are a bit different, but at the same time, a bit the same. Given the propensity of geckos, blood flies, mo giant mole rats, and the occasional death claw, America's youth need to be prepared to face a myriad of these threats of the wasteland. Well, those on the frontier might not benefit from the pioneer scouts, those who live within the city or places like Vault City could use an education and survival, especially in an unforgiving wasteland where life and death aren't abstract concepts, but a byword for getting through the day. Ever upwards. National Guard. <clears throat> the idea of a citizen militia is cute, but pre war American formalized military forces is made up of civilians subject to military training. Why would, you, why would we do anything different? Why would we? That would make no sense. Ah, look at this. Ah, we're trying to sink our ships. Search speed and Department of Homeland Security. Communist Legion spies and brother agents look everywhere. It's only natural to form a department to root them out. Absolutely. <coughs> nice. Well, it's not Westworld. 
As uh, so our expedition closed in on the town, they were uh, beset by horrifying sight. Whatever came in before us left the place in ruins, and bodies led to the streets. The inner quiet was broken when our troops were beset upon by horrifying abominations, heavily damaged from human automata, acting as if they were from a pre-war town. They ever appeared to be malfunctioning as they began shooting lasers from their eyes after claiming our troops looked cold. Thankfully, power armor silently resisted their lasers and returned fire and iron. However, the reason for the massive bodies became aware as more of the monsters came out of the literal woodwork and forced to fall back. There must be hundreds of these things, and they're all malfunctioning. We've got to act fast. No pre-war horror. Oh. Well, I mean, we already killed them all off, so... Gotta imagine... Ugh, shnackies. And they're back. Okay, this makes no sense, but whatever. Military Academy of 400 Liggett. The army today finalized the construction set for the criteria except the initial candidates to the West Coast Military Academy of Fort Hunter Liggett. Douglas Granite made a special appearance to shock the military members and their families. The president gave an impromptu speech and emphasized the importance of the future of the army in the coming years. As we push ever east, it'll be you brave men and women at the forefront. Leading the spirit of America back to its home on the East Coast, remember you represent over 500 years of honor, prestige, tradition, and culture. The latest in an unbroken line that stretches to George Washington and Valley Forge. Maybe some of you have the privilege of planting America's flag on that very hollow ground. For now, though, we must prepare for the time's heading and the battles to be, to be fought. Godspeed and God bless America. But at West Point, what are these days? Cool. There must be one something there. This is originally still a core of ours, so... Core becomes core. Alright. Whatever. I'm just gonna throw you guys here for now. Because Elko Posse is gonna do that crap again to us. But you guys are actually gonna come down somewhere else. There you go. Because you guys are gonna do something else for us too. Could we go to war with these guys and do okay against them? Look at this. National Catastrophe Relief Auxiliary. Our all disaster relief organization that dealt with national emergencies, while technically the entire country is in a national emergency, instances like storms, earthquakes, and federal ghoul outbreaks and the Cajun Raider strike can, uh, can be mitigated through the NCRA. Doctrine on how we fight. We're taking back the continent the hard way, which is how exactly we're going to push forward. Based on the followers of the apocalypse, funds will be set aside for medical supplies and treatment of far flung towns, staffed by federally funded or trade in doctors. At least we can. Until, until we can restore the medical infrastructure in this country. That's to an emergency draft, huh? <clears throat> Pre-war America made all the Americans register for potential military service, although we're obviously not going to conscript everyone in the nation. I couldn't attract everyone who might want in the army. Army reserves. Americans of the Great War rallied to the flag when the nation was under attack. Serving as part-time soldiers. They can do so again, of course. Nice. What's going on here? Uh, oh, we shot down a crap ton of enemy planes. That's actually really good. Very, very good. You guys go ahead and repair. It's fine. So we one way to destroy the enemy air force, Semper Fortis. Well, dedicated to naval warfare. Uh, naval base Ventura was home to a diverse mix of units, facilities, and infrastructure that assisted the Navy in its warfare. It's a mystery as to why it wasn't targeted with nuclear bombs during the Great War, sadly, however. An air and robotic programming allowed scavengers to pick the site clean, forcing us to start over from scratch, much of the base had been restored including getting the base radar up and running. Um, and the Navy's turned into an auxiliary command node for Pacific operations, as well as restoring the supply railhead of four ships in the Pacific. However, the Navy's real goal was, uh, at Naval Base Ventura, was the establishment of the West Coast Naval Academy. Ready to train a whole new generation of naval officers for the United States Navy? Ventura Naval Academy. Ventura Naval Academy opened its doors to a series of fresh cadets, ready to sail the Emerald Seas and are being trained by the, what few naval officers the Enclave had left. With Naval Command hoping to restore the depleted numbers, there was a result of the Great War. Freedom Ahoy! Nice. No, they're not attacking anymore, huh? 
Sucks. Right here. Logistics. Demo teams. Reconnaissance. Are they still attacking us now finally? They are. Go there and circle and destroy. I hate Elko. The doctrine of tomorrow. So we're going to take back America the hard way, block by block. Town by town, city by city, until the old glory is flying high in the sky once more from sea to shine to sea. Of course, how we're going to do that is a matter of debate. The army has come forward with three doctrines of which to choose. Some of ours uh, preserve proponents say we should adopt a defensive approach, allowing our enemies to throw themselves at impenetrable fences and allow us to walk over them with what is all that is left as a pile of dead bodies. They take the methods from General Constantine Chase of the Alaska Reclamation. Other more daring members wish to adopt a high-speed offensive of maneuverability, striking deep into enemy territory and driving them home the true nature of total war. But in General Sherman when he broke the back of the Confederacy in the Civil War. Lastly, others wish for a more measured approach, bringing the full might of America crushing down on our enemies in a slow and inevitable advance that will see all crushed underfoot, like MacArthur when he drove the Chinese across the Yalu River, or detonating atomic bombs to remind them who, who they were messing with. What we choose will be a primary doctrine moving forward. I will not make this decision lightly. Open for business. As we expand control over the United States, Someone suggested reopening Repco, Robco, and uh, Repcon, Robco, and Baltec for business once again. Obviously, we won't be us producing robots for a while, but maybe we can get farmers and mechanical harvesters. You know, you never know. But on the EPA, we need to preserve what remains of our nature and preserve the planet for future generations. Plus, we'll gain popular support among the masses, too. The GEC Project. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit was decided to help revive the waste after a nuclear winter or war. The United States can use this technology and a national love to turn the Deadwood Forest into Redfoot Forest once again. Entertainment broadcasts. Time to play some new songs, because we've heard Johnny Cash quite enough. On to the First Amendment. If in other lands, the press and the books and literature of all kinds are censored, we must redouble our efforts here to keep them free. Let's do some business in California. California's fallen in hard times after end entire mismanagement, the Brotherhood raids, and the damage from the stray plasma grenades. With Mayor Hayes and the Enclave will make it spick and span in no time. Yes, please. That would be a fantastic sponsor war movie. Uh, sponsor comedy movie. Everyone needs an escape, a movie that allows us to laugh together is great for relieving tension. We don't directly tell people that war is glorious if we just show them instead. Sponsor patriotic movies. Some of our citizens. America. <clears throat> it has a long lost abstraction. However, can we explain such a thing in the words alone? So we can't, so we need a movie. Oh, so that's like 50 PP for weekly stability and legitimacy. I don't mind spending that for uh, some of that. That's, that's honestly pretty much worth it. It's very much worth it, actually. Kill them all off. Have fun with it. You know? Love them for business. With a stroke of a pen, the president decreed the resurrection of the pre-war businesses, uh, moving to merge pre-war with post-war. Governments like West Tech and Rob Cole stand once more alongside entities such as the Crimson Caravan and the Gunrunners. This move was met by praise from many and criticism from others. On one hand, the return of the industrial and technological giants of the pre-war would set America leaps and bounds over any other entity in the wastes. Likewise, the tractors feared doing this would lead to the same predatory practices of the pre-war era, as well as emboldening current entities to continue their unethical practices. The President is assured that there will be several government and independent oversight commissions, and panels to assure that private entities are following safe and ethical practices, an assurance they won't lead uh, lead to what became of the NCR and pre-war America, another announcement that garnered mass support from many of the small communities in America, is that these corporations will be met with a wide volume of taxes meant to offset taxes for the lower class. Suffice to say, this last announcement was met with widespread public approval, and any who have voiced objections were quickly silenced. What could go wrong? Uh, let's strip the vaults. As we claim America, there's a great deal we can gain from the pre-war vaults, and we can use them for their original purposes. Sponsor comedy. Ooh, open for business. Now with the broader measure of pieces to build the wasteland, people can, can consider commerce that spans the sky once again. MedTech. Before the war, MedTech was famous for MedTats and fixers, but also created antibiotics and vaccines. Look at this. Quite nice. Why do they take my best divisions? I don't understand this at all. Seriously. We thought this was a good idea. Kill them all off, please. Where are their divisions at? They're not even attacking down there that much. Uh, they're still up on the Scrapper's Compact. Oh, they actually broke through the Scrapper's Compact, too. Yeah, I think they do more than that, you know? Robco. General Tonics. 
living better abroad or above ground. The vaults were not designed to save anybody. They were designed for the American eternity to help America leave this world and survive on the desolate planets. Many vaults have fall, failing after 200 years, but there's still plenty of industrial gear we can refurbish and maintain. But some scientists suggest we can always do more research. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. We can put these fusion plants in our cities. Well, we kind of need that right now. Mm, probably fun horses. That's fun the EPA. And we will finish this part of the campaign, this episode, with the Department of Education. Staggered amount of resistance are illiterate. We will open the public schools to provide at least the basic skills to anyone under 12 years of age. Watch, watch check out any of the episode here. If you enjoyed it, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on with the Enclave and the War against Kaisar's god-awful legion. Thanks for watching. Have a great dead rest of your day.